Hello everybody, I am Duke James, this is a continuation of my Heathenous Ways campaign in Crusader Kings 2. So I want to get out of this uh, non-aggression pact with my liege. Because I feel like most of his... he only has 1900 troops, and his vassal troops, I feel like most of those are mine. And his heir has four marshal. How long does that last? That seems like that lasted a long time. I mean, it's because that was an obligation. He voted for Rome, and then an obligation. Which I'd like to do a Rome as well. Low centralization. Sure, find out. Is that- that's my wife? Yeah. Damn it, lady! <laughs> the omens surrounding my wife's pregnancy are terrible. Well, I don't care. My wife's a cheater. The lands of High Chief Milzas are right there, right for the picking. I can't raid though, so... I can't raid because my... Uh, liege is Catholic, so... That prevents me from raiding, so that's kind of... Something that I can't do. Arm thugs have broken to my room. 10% chance I die. Here we go. So this has to go to council consideration. They won't. They won't accept. Uh, who would accept? So the Cyrus and the Steward would accept. This guy hates me. Why is he still my Marshal? This guy didn't uh, stop a plot on my life, so I should probably get rid of him. Swap him out. Send him a gift, because you always want your spy master to be happy so they don't kill you. How about now? Hey, everybody would accept. Let's go ahead and vote on that. And the king is dead. And I have an extra county, so... And this guy only has... Wait, where is he? Where's the king? Wait a minute, this isn't... Who is this guy? This guy isn't... Why did he go to that guy? Oh, okay, because it's elective. 
That's elective. How come I wasn't given a vote? Here we go. Hey, I vote for me. They're gonna vote for this guy. Don't vote for that guy, vote for me. Can I duel this guy? No, I can declare war. Should I do it? I have a feeling if I become king, everybody's just gonna hate me. How many vassals does he have? He has eight vassals. Me is one of them. I am one of them. Me is one of them. This guy has 2,000 troops. Damn. I should probably get rid of some of these guys. Like that guy. Make my uh, transition to power a little bit easier. Yeah, a lot of these guys have a lot of troops. This guy just inherited, so he's going to... I should uh, just jump on this guy. For uh, Soderman land. If I lose, I pay 328 gold. Well, I shouldn't lose then. That's the easiest solution, just don't lose. He's inviting me for a period of festivities leading up to his coronation. Sure. Uh, Bishop da -da -da, is scolding. Da -da -da. It's been days now since I've put up with his endless moralizing. I cannot really take any more of it. Shut him up. He's Yeah, that's fine. Coronation of King Taik? Taiki? Taiki? He kneels behind the, before the bishop as his host of vassals surrounds him in complete silence. He blesses him, places the crown on his head, proclaiming him King of Sweden by grace of Odin. King of Sweden by grace of Odin. But he's Christian. Why is it by the grace of Odin? That's very fishy. Take this county. I have no commanders. No good commanders. Invite those guys. Make them commanders. Where is it? Here we go. Minor, minor titles. You, you, and you. Congratulations. You, you, and you. Let's fight them. Yes, I'll accept the dog. Thank you very much. Plus one health.
Text shifted burger obligation. Sure. My wife and my concubine are cheaters. Uh, arm wrestling challenge. Sure, this woman. I don't want to fight a duel. I also don't want to be depressed. Conversion of Suomi. No, I'm at war with that guy and he asked me to support him. Alright, I had a son. He's gonna inherit all my lands. So I can get rid of some of these concubines. She's pregnant. Set her aside. Take this province and go fight him. Finish this. Let's end this. Now I should be able to set her aside. She went to hiding. Ransom these guys. It's about uh, 100 gold right there. And I get another county. So I have 3,400 troops now. Norway's event spawn troops dropped down to 6,000, but they still have a lot of event spawn troops. England has a revolt. Could start this uh, faction. Whereas this guy now hates me because I took his territory. Let's see, so me and this guy are vassals. Then that guy, that guy. There's a guy up here. Who converted to Christianity. He's pretty weak though. So that's three vassals right there. Four, five. And then there's two mayors. Yep, yeah, okay. So it's pretty much just this guy and this guy then. And then of course this guy himself. He has three counties. Do I still have a favor on this guy? Join him. Make him join the faction. That favor on uh, that guy was lost. Alright, so I have that guy in my faction. This 
guy doesn't really have any troops. And this guy has 2,000 troops. Can I do... Actually, that's intrigue. Demand installation of claimants. Clements. Clements. You know what? Let's do it. Sure. Alright. He has 2,900 troops already raised up. But he's going north. So that's all he has then, 2,900 troops. So, I should... Meet him, fight up here. Twenty-third, twenty-fifth, I'll get there before him? Damn it, he's not going. If I lose this war... I get imprisoned. Don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna hire some mercs. Just to make damn sure I don't lose this battle. They melted away. I'll take care of these guys as well. I don't even think they're a part. They're not a part of it. I think I'll just fight him whenever he lands. Might as well fight him again. Yeah, he's pretty much gone. Alright, let's siege down his territory. Should do it. Let's have these guys take him out. 
Now that should do it. Damn it. My son died. Alright, well, you get set aside. None of these people are going to, uh, accept, so I probably have to do this, do that once, take her, Ninety-two percent. Ninety-six. I don't need the mercs anymore. Drop them. Might as well wait for this to finish. Alright, I am now King of Sweden. And it is elective. No counter hired tier has a vessel negative rain for ten years. Hmm. Let's increase centralization. Alright, so I'm king of Sweden now. I'm gonna lose it upon my death. I need to make people, uh... Give the people what they want. Which is council positions. Revoke title is allowed. I just have truces with everybody. So if they revolt, then I'll revoke all their titles. And then give them to Norse Norsemen. Fortunately, I don't think they're going to vote for my daughter.
So my only hope of keeping this is to get Gabblekind. So I have to live till 57. And I'd have to get... Probably have to kill or revoke all these people's titles. But I'll worry about that in the future. For now, I'm going to end this part here and pick it up in the next part. So I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.